So now we will see how we can print the Fibonacci sequence in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS code over here and simply inside the programs folder, let me just create a new file. So as you can see, we have this Fibonacci.js file over here. Now guys, what is the meaning of Fibonacci series? So let us understand that first of all. So basically Fibonacci series is nothing but it is a series of numbers in which case the first number is zero and the second number is one. So these are the two inputs that we already have that is the first number is zero and the second number is one and the next element that is the next number will always be the sum of the previous two numbers so over here the third number it will be equal to zero plus one over here which is equal to one this time and the fourth number that is the next number it will be once again the sum of the previous two numbers that is one plus one over here so we have two in this case and then followed by the sum of these two numbers that is one plus two it will be three right now and then after that 2 plus 3 it will be equal to 5 then 3 plus 5 will be 8 and so on we will be finding the sum of the previous two numbers which will be equal to the next number over here so 8 plus 5 will be 13 and then 13 plus 8 will be 21 and so on the Fibonacci sequence will continue so guys this is the Fibonacci series that we want to print by using the JavaScript code so guys over here what we can do is simply we can provide the two variables the first variable will be n1 it is equal to 0 in this case and the second variable will be n2 which will have the value that is 1 over here so guys basically the idea in this case is to store the first two numbers that is 0 and 1 over here and then maybe we can print them first of all so we have the console.log statement we will first of all print the n1 number that is 0 and then n2 number that is 1 over here now guys we can print the fibonacci series up to a certain limit so let us say we want the first 10 numbers in the fibonacci series to be displayed on the console so what we will do is simply we can go through the for loop over here the first two numbers are already displayed in this case by using these console.log statements and then what we will do is simply we will provide the variable i it is equal to the third number since the first and the second number is already printed we will be printing from the third number over here up to a certain limit so let us say we want the first 10 numbers so i is equal to 3 i less than or equal to 10 over here so that the value of i goes from 3 up to 10 and we are printing 10 numbers over here inside the fibonacci series and then followed by i plus plus in order to increment the value of i now guys what we have to do is within this for loop we need to find the sum of these two numbers that is n1 and n2 so what we will do is simply we will provide another variable that is n3 it is equal to the sum of the previous two numbers that is n1 plus n2 over here so guys as you can see we will find the next number with the help of this n3 variable which we can print by using the console.log statement over here and then we will say n3 this time now guys after printing this what we can do is simply we can assign the value of n2 to n1 over here and the third number that is n3 the value of this third number should be assigned to n2 so that n1 and n2 will give us the next number over here so simply what we will do is n1 is equal to n2 which means the n2 value is 1 right now it will be assigned to n1 which was 0 previously over here and then we need to assign the value of n3 to n2 so n2 it is equal to n3 over here so guys basically what we are doing is n1 plus n2 it will be equal to 0 plus 1 over here so which is equal to 1 this time and then when we assign the value of n2 to n1 so this time n1 will become 1 over here and then n3 value will be assigned to n2 in which case we got the n3 as 1 over here so we will get it as 1 in this case so guys next time n1 plus n2 will give us the result as 2 which will be the next number in our series and then once again we will carry out these operations in order to assign the value of n1 and n2 as 1 and 2 over here in order to get the next result in this case so guys in this way we can easily get the fibonacci series by using the simple for loop over here and these variables let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file so when we press enter as you can see we have got the output over here it says 0 1 and the third number will be 0 plus 1 it is equal to 1 over here followed by 1 plus 1 it is equal to 2 then 2 plus 1 will be 3 3 plus 2 will be 5 
5 plus 3 will be 8 and so on 8 plus 5 will be 13 and the other numbers will always be the sum of the previous two numbers now let us check the top 20 numbers in the Fibonacci series so over here instead of i less than or equal to 10 simply we can go up to 20 over here let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal so as you can see we have got the numbers that are the top 20 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence so this is the way that you can print the Fibonacci sequence by using the JavaScript code simply by using the for loop over here so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well I'll see you in the next video in which we are going to see how to check if the number is the Armstrong number in JavaScript. So stay tuned.